To help demonstrate how HVS rotating secrets work, I'll be running an application that fetches AWS credentials it uses to authenticate with AWS, then read some data from an S3 storage bucket. Here you can see the S3 storage bucket, Damil's bucket, that I've created in AWS. And there's an HTML file inside. With that, let's go into HCP Vault Secrets to get started. First, I'll create a new application that will contain our rotating secrets. Once my new app's created, I'll select Auto Rotating Secret from the Create New Secret menu. I'll select AWS as my provider and then click Add New Integration. I'll use OIDC for Workload Identity Federation since it's more secure than using static credentials. I'll give the integration a name and then populate the audience of the identity token used for OIDC Federation. Lastly, I'll assign the role I configured in AWS that Vault Secrets will assume to access AWS. Next, I'll configure the secret integration. Give the integration a name. Then I can select the rotation period. By default, we have two live versions selected. And then lastly, I'll provide the name of the IAM user I created on the AWS side that the access keys belong to. And here we can see the new rotating secret. Now, if I jump over to my AWS console, I can see an active secret for my user that's just been created but not used yet. If we look at the URL where my demo HTML will be displayed, it's not working. So I'll jump to my HCP command line tool and run the demo go app I showed you at the beginning of this demo. Now, when I refresh the browser, we can see the app grab the new credentials and read the HTML from my S3 bucket. You can also manually rotate a secret, which I'll do right now, and you can see a second valid version of the secret will come online. And there's my new version two of the secret. So let's go back to my HTML. I'm going to refresh it. It's still working because version one is still active and that's the version it's using. So let's go back to the command line and I'm going to restart the demo application. Once I've done that, I'll go back and refresh my browser again. And once again, the page stays up because now it's using version two of the secret. When I go back to my AWS console and refresh, I see two active versions of the secret and they've both been used today. As you can see, HVS makes it easy to create auto-rotating secrets and make the secure way the easy way. <laughs>